Hey everybody, Will here, and I've got a bunch of videos that are hopefully going to be coming out very soon. Uh, the first of which, next up, is going to be probably some more drone videos. Um, hope you're not tired of them. Those are just very popular right now, and I'm also really eager to get my drone to the point where it's going to be making some really good aerial videos, uh, and right now it is not. But I also got a few other types of videos coming out, including a number of camera-related videos and computer-related videos. But I'm running into one little problem, um, actually right up here where I filmed them on the new floor. And uh, if you remember when I did the new floor, I didn't really do much else other than build the floor. And so when I started to film up here, I pretty much just started grabbing lights to try to light what I was filming. And just to show you what I've got going on right now, um, the two biggest lights I have are these four foot fluorescent fixtures, your basic $10 fluorescent fixtures from Home Depot, uh, adapted to light stands, of course. I've got another one over on this side. Uh, but otherwise, I've got one of these lamps, which I just saw at Ikea, and I really liked it. And I thought I wanted one kind of lamp to be on the floor. And I just really enjoyed that. I think it was called Hectar is the name of the model number. And just to see what I've got in it right now, I've got one of these giant um, CFL bulbs. Can't really buy them in the store. It's more of a photo video uh, bulb. Uh, 105 watts, I believe. Uh, but you can get these on Amazon. That's where I got this one. For not, uh, more expensive than a normal bulb, obviously, but very worth it. Because you need a lot of light when you're shooting video. These are all daylight balanced, by the way. Of course, this whole area is going to get actually a lot of light from the sun. So you don't want to fight with them. Also, I just prefer to shoot daylight. But we've got those three. And then we've got a number of lights going around at the kind of perimeter. These are just clamp lights that I've clamped where there's room. These bulbs are just your normal uh, daylight balance bulbs you can get anywhere that aren't too expensive. I think they're around, what, 30, 30 watts or something like that. And then I've got another light over here just sort of lighting the background. But uh, the biggest problem right now, in addition to the fact that this situation is kind of annoying and keeping me from sweeping and stuff, um, is the fact that even with all this, this is not really enough light for somewhere that I'm going to be filming all the time. Uh, right now, I'm shooting at ISO 800. And actually, I should probably switch to 1600 soon, now that the sun's about to go down, uh, on a 2.8 lens. So that, again, is just not great. I'm really trying to work with the light that I have. And I should just have more light than what I need. So I was at IKEA the other day, of course. And I ended up seeing these, which I really liked. These, I believe, are pronounced uh, cremare light fixtures. I hope that's how you say it. But uh, I saw these, and I really liked them. They were $25 for these, uh, what I think are really nice looking aluminum fixtures. Um, and I really liked them, and I decided to get a few of them. And so I'm going to be installing these today. In them, they have these LED spotlight bulbs. Um, that's one thing. If you didn't know right now, uh, IKEA is pretty much transitioning everything to LEDs. And so what's nice is they have these nice small LEDs now for pretty much every socket they make. Uh, this is, what is this? This is the E17 socket it takes. So um, yeah, really nice looking fixture, I think. And again, the energy savings with these LEDs and everything should be great. One problem I had that uh, was a little bit annoying, the, the bulbs are a little bit more expensive than regular bulbs, but again, they last like five or six times longer, something like that. Um, and then they're just a lot more efficient. So the energy savings, again, when you have a lot of light, I, my electric bill is pretty high, um, is going to be a good thing. The problem right now, though, is despite the fact that they have a bunch of really great LED bulbs that are fairly reasonably priced, is that all of their bulbs are only in um, 3,600 uh, Kelvin uh, tungsten balanced light bulbs, which are not going to work for us. They would, again, with this space in particular, uh, I'm basically combining my lights with the sunlight, and that's not a good idea to have those bulbs. So uh, I had to buy the bulbs on eBay, and actually they were about the same price. I ended up getting these spotlight bulbs right here. And um, they're five LED, uh, five watt bulbs, and they were four for $30. And they're really great, they're bright, um, and they should be perfect for us. Again, about the same price. Uh, they're actually dimmable, too. I'm not going to 
install a dimmer on them right now, but I, they were like 50 cents more for the dimmable versions and thought, why not? Again, again they last like forever. So um, I got a bunch of those and I have, what do I have? Five of these fixtures total, I think. Yes, five total. And basically they're going to go up here, two on this banister right here that runs across um, in front of the floor, one of them over here, one of them on the opposite side to light my battery slash bin slash supply area, which has no lighting as well. And then another one on here above the doors of the corner office. So uh, I'll probably need some of these lights in addition to those, but um, I could probably remove a couple too and have the place look a little bit nicer than it is now uh, by getting rid of a couple of those. And again, I just need more light, so even if I don't get rid of these, um, I'm gonna be improving things for myself. To plug them in, I'm going to be using a, right here I have some 18 gauge lamp cord, uh, which again, this is kind of like a temporary installation. I'm gonna got a lot of people telling me that that's not how you do it. Again, it comes with these things to be installed in work boxes, um, kind of hardwired into the building. We're not gonna do that right now. These again are sort of like a removable thing. I'm gonna use this 18 gauge lamp cord, which is rated to 300 watts on 115 volt AC. Um, and again, I think I'll have three of them and max in a circuit, so that's five watts times three, times three, which is uh, 45 watts total. And uh, again, we'll be 100% fine with that. And then we'll be plugging it in with one of those ends. Uh, just a standard plug end for the wire to go into. And then to, in, again, just plug it into a socket, and then we're gonna be using these also to power them. I use these around the house for a number of things. Um, right now I've got a set in the kitchen too. Let's see, there we go. So these are really convenient, and in particular, I've gotten, um, I like to get them in sets of twos, you can see. You can shoot, get ones that are the same channel so I can have now a controller upstairs and a controller downstairs. And uh, I'll have two different circuits here for the primary lights on the front and side and then a backlight and um, the one back there will be on a separate channel there and then I'll be able to use all three channels on this switch. But um, I think this will be a good way to do it rather than uh, you know putting a bunch of work boxes in and routing a switch somewhere and then doing all that. Those wireless switch adapters I use for a couple other things. They're really useful for filmmaking stuff. And um, I actually really like to get them after Christmas. They're something that they have for Christmas, like uh, Christmas lights and things like that. There's usually plenty of them for their 50% off, 70% off after Christmas sales. So that's a really great time to pick up, um, again, a couple sets of two or something like that if you're interested in using these sort of things. Otherwise, I think they're about $20 each or something. But uh, yeah, this is going to be our little project today, and I'm um, gonna get started. completed and plugged in lights uh, and the other ones are right over here um, and then the last set back here these ones aren't really for filming or anything they're just to kind of light the area so that I can see in there but um, as you can see it's light quite a lot of light and um, especially considering the amount of uh, watts that are going on here right now 
it's uh, pretty impressive. These are much more focused directional lights and um, it's actually a little bit blinding right now. I kind of got to figure out a way to deal with them, probably putting um, some sort of diffusion covers that I'll make for the front of them. But um, for now, just to get more light up here, it's looking pretty good. Again, these right now, what you're seeing is just the lights that I just put up. And uh, they're not all pointed at me, but right around this area is about 60 watts. And just to give you an idea, this four foot fixture is uh, has two um, 32 watt bulbs in it. So just to show you actually really quickly, I was a little bit surprised um, considering how close it is compared to the others. But if I shut these off and then um, that's just, oh, wait a minute. There we go. And here's just that one. So um, more power and not as bright. So pretty pleased with this so far. Um, again, these aren't gonna be by themselves or anything. I'm gonna be using, um, I'm gonna have some other light on the stage. And actually this whole area is gonna kind of be um, evolving a little bit, not in one big project, but I'll kind of be doing little things like this. It's gonna have kind of um, like, some structures going around it and ideally if it was just gonna be a flat floor that was gonna stay like this it would have probably been better to mount those lights up there by that top beam instead of right there kind of near my eye line um, but uh, so for now I'll, I'll just work with it and then um, we're gonna see they could be moved later if they have to but just to get some more light in this area I uh, think this worked out pretty good so um, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching.